So until now we have seen a lot of things in Node.js REST API like logging and how to start, how to watch files, how to start the Node.js API in development environment and how to inject environment variables. There are a lot of things. But it's time to build our Node.js REST API uh, for production and also for different environments. To build the Node.js REST API, we might need a tool called Webpack. So first we need to understand why we need Webpack. So Webpack is a module bundler where it can take a lot of files and it will bundle those files into few static assets and we can take those assets and deploy those as assets into the server so that the amount of files that you migrate from your from your local machine to the server will be minimized a lot so first of all for example let's look at this example where you have an application and also in this application we have a lot of files for example in our application, if you look at the source folder, we have controller files, we have service files, we have repository files, and we have also logger and configuration files. So all these files, if you want to migrate, either you have to zip it or you have to migrate each file. And when in this process, you might miss certain files and, and because of that, your application will crash in production or it, it won't even start in the first place. So, so what Webback does is it takes all these files and it will generate few static assets. And, and we need to take those static assets and deploy those into whatever the environment that you want to deploy. For example, here uh, in our Node.js REST API, when you build the application, we are building we take all the source files, we take all the files under that source folder and it will generate only one file which is called apibundle.js and this file will be placed into the server. When this file is placed into the server, all you need to do is you just need to run node and this file, node apibundle.js and your application is up and running. So you don't have to deploy or you don't have to migrate all the files all you need to do is just take this file and put it in the server and run this file with the start command so basically webpack is a module bundler and it it will make your life easier especially when you migrate when you want to deploy your application into multiple environments and let's get into implementation now okay the latest version of webpack is 5 uh, but we are not using that uh, since there are some breaking changes and there are some changes uh, with Webpack 5 and there is a separate episode for that. Uh, for now we are using Webpack 4. So until now we have seen the theory uh, let's get into implementation. So we have this index.js and in index.js we have a lot of imports. So if you go to, if you go to the imports uh, the first thing is controller and after controller we have services and from the service we imported repository so that is how the webpack track all the files that is actually being used from index.js so let's get started with the webpack page and uh, let's copy that and and let's go ahead and create a webpack config.js file So you can name any, uh, you can name the file anything, but the best thing is by default, the webpack looks for webpack config.js. So if you name any other, you can just, uh, you can just pass that particular file with the config flag. So basically we have to mention entry and the output. So the, here the entry file is index.js and the output is, so we are actually creating a one file. The output file is called api bundle.js. So you can name that file anything as well. 
since it's an API, since we are building an API, I just I just named it as api.bundle.js. And it will be put in, in the dist folder. And also, when you are actually building a project, you can build it for development, you can build it for production. So since we are, e we are in the development phase, I just put mode as development and the target environment is node. So let's add a npm script, build, and all you need to do is webpack. So when you run this webpack, it runs, it looks for webpack config.js and it runs, it looks for index.js and it build the, in, it, it looks for all the import files and it takes all the files and it, it builds and it generates one api.bundle.js in the dist folder. So before all that, let's install libraries first. So since we are using version four, we just need to use Webpack 4 and Webpack CLI 4. Now those are installed and those libraries gets added to dev dependencies instead of dependencies. Since, since we, we should use these in, in the development, not in production. So that's why these gets added to dev dependencies. Okay, now we have an issue here. Um, so in Webpack, there is a concept called loaders. So since we are using JSON as a test data, we need to add a uh, loader. But for now, we can just delete the test data folder and wherever imported, we can just remove those. So let's remove these and let's run the application again. Let's build the application again with npm run build. So now we are building again. Uh, we get another error here. I think uh, there is a DB here. So I think I don't think we we need that. So let's remove this and let's run the command again. So now there is another error. We basically this error. Um, I think it is looking for node modules and it is trying to build node modules. So first we just need to let webpack know we don't need web uh, we don't need to build node modules for that we just need to install the library webpack externals let's install that yeah we have installed it and uh, the, the, that gets added to dev dependencies as well let's copy the command let's copy that import command and go to webpack config.js and paste it here and so all we need to do is we just need to put that externals line in the in the configuration in the webpack configuration now let's build the application so it now it won't um, it won't build node modules so now now build is successful and we can actually see uh, the dist folder is uh, is created and we can see a api bundle.js file as well Now let's run the application, node dist. All you need to do is just run the file. So right now, um, since we are using .env library to read all the environment variables, right now, uh, when we, once we build the application, we are not able to read those. So we just need to fix that issue. So for that, what we need is, uh, let's first um, add default values so that if it doesn't read environment variables, it takes those default values and build the application successfully. So let's add those default values. So we, we, have al we already have the port uh, 3000 as a default. So all we need to do is just add these default values in the dbconfig.js. So host name, localhost, since we are running Postgres SQL in the local machine, so all you need to do is, uh, you need to give those local environment variables. So now we have provided um, all default values. Let's run the application. Now let's build it again and run the file. Now 
now we have built the application with the default values and if you run this now it should work yes it is working and the application is up and it is listening to the port 3000 which is the deep default one and also it is it is actually taking the environment development which since we have given more as development in in the webpack configuration file so it's basically uh, we are running the build command it is looking for webpack config.js and it takes that uh, mode environment and it is actually adding that development mode in environment in the in the console log statement now the application is up but we have a problem here um, if we basically the index.html we are not able to load the index.html when you build the application with webpack so for this we need another plugin we just need to pass that plugin in the configuration webpack config.js configuration so that plugin is copy webpack plugin so what it does is it actually copies um, files from the source to the destination so here we need to copy index.html and put it in dist folder so for that we need a plugin uh, which is webpack copy plugin so let's install uh, that plugin here. So since we are using Webpack 4, let's install version 4. So once installed, all we need to do is copy that import command and put it in webpack config.js. And then um, we need to add a plugins array. Since it's a plugin, we just need to pass that plugin to the plugins array of configuration let's copy that and put it in the plugins array so it's a it's a copy plugin and what we are doing here is all we need all we are doing here is we are actually giving a source file and the destination file so that it takes the file from the source folder and put it in the destination folder. So what we need is index.html. So that is what we need to put in to the for to the from. So basically uh, since we are we just need to use path.join and use that index.html. Otherwise it doesn't pick up. So we, you need to use path.join or path.resolve. Same way, uh, we have to give destination folder, which is dist. Since we are, um, since the source is the file and the destination is, is the folder, we have to put two type direct, two type, which is the directory. okay so now the plugin is here let's run the application again let's build the application again uh, we have a error here i think oh i think the copy plugin takes the array all we need to do is just remove the pattern object and make this as an array now let's build build the application again Now the application is built and we can see index.html already in this folder. Now if you run this application, we should see that message from index.html. Let's run the application with the node dist api bundle.js command and let's go to the browser and let's hit localhost 3000. Yep, now now the now the index.html is loaded and this is this message is coming from index.html
So, so instead of um, every time we are running node dist slash index dot uh, api bundle dot js, so instead of that we can just add that to the npm scripts in the package dot json. So you can put uh, any key. Uh, I just put run colon build and you can just give whatever the value you are running. So here we are actually, so let's let's run the command. npm run, run colon build. So that, that in turn runs that node dist api bundle.js and that runs the application. And let's see it. Now the application is also working. Okay. So that is how we have built um, the application with no webpack and run the application. Thanks for watching.